the brokenness of our world is staggering. Every day, 13% of the world's population goes hungry. One person in seven has no access to clean water for drinking, cooking or washing. In sub-Saharan Africa alone, over 200 million people live in extreme poverty. In its quest to hasten the transformation needed to establish a food-secure Africa free from poverty and hunger, Fanapan is making giant strides. This dynamic network draws on the world's foremost leadership prowess, intellectual resources, research and technological advances to address Africa's troublesome dilemmas. Its steadfast mission is to promote effective food, agriculture and natural resources policies. We use the information generated from HVI assessments to assess the impact of climate change on livelihoods at household level. We all know that the majority of our households in rural Africa rely on rain-fed agriculture, which is very susceptible to the impact of erratic weather patterns like floods and droughts. FANAPAN's Household Vulnerability Index, or HVI, is a statistical tool for measuring household vulnerability. This acclaimed tool has been successfully piloted in Southern Africa, resulting in the development of livelihoods databases on asset ownership by rural communities, which in turn are used to accurately inform policy. In partnership with World Vision in rural Lesotho, Fanapan's HVI tool is used here to assess the degree of vulnerability in these impoverished households. The HVI tool enables us to, uh, to categorize households into three groups. The first group is a uh, low vulnerability uh, category. These are households that are able to cope uh, in the face of uh, shocks without any need for external assistance. The second level is uh, moderate vulnerability. These are households that are normally able to cope without external assistance, but if they are affected by an adverse shock or an external shock, they require temporary or transitory assistance for them to be able to cope with that shock. High vulnerability is the third category. These are households that are chronically poor and always require special social protection interventions for them to cope with the impact of extreme external shocks like disease, uh, floods and uh, other such. Kidaga <laughs> 
ke bona le ho hlatswa ke ano e setsa ke fa di go ke fa di phoforo nyana tsaka masema ko na la khachana anganana bokhulu oh ama agira i dream 3 acre ama nyawa 6 6 acres le 3 acres o to wa o sebenza qala bo senza na bokona so, in my lower ten and Government <laughs> As a world-renowned NGO focusing on the plight of children, World Vision used the statistics generated from the HVI assessments to improve their local child welfare programs. When we learned about the HVI model, we were excited because the targeting probably that we were doing were not necessarily addressing the needs of the really and the most vulnerable people uh, within the community. And we felt like the HVI is a tool that is going to help us really identify who are the most vulnerable, who are the most that uh, need some assistance, than when we just go in and we assume that everyone is vulnerable. And remember that the level of vulnerability is also not the same. And for us as well Vision, for us to do a proper programming, we need to know which, uh, uh, how to target uh, in terms of this assets. In one household, it might be an issue of physical assets. In one household, it may be an issue of social assets. And the HVI tool was actually helping us to really get to the gist of getting the, the real information. Although Lesotho is blessed with breathtaking mountains, the rugged terrain and inconsistent weather patterns in recent years have made conditions very tough for farming. In this regard, Fanapan is contributing significantly with various climate smart agriculture projects in association with the National University of Lesotho and local farmers. The majority of households in Lesotho uh, are actually employed in uh, very climate sensitive sectors such as uh, agriculture and uh, in fact in the natural resources and also uh, wetlands. So you'll find out that this climate sensitive sectors form the basic livelihoods for most Basotho. My study will assist the farmers because they will have knowledge on the adaptation strategies that they could actually use in order to protect themselves against the impacts of climate change, to counteract the impacts of climate change. As farmers, we'll be ready uh, to work very closely with the university if indeed they are out there to are prepared to help us, we'll certainly help them as much as possible so that we can support them and participate in whatever training programs that they may be able to put across. By actively facilitating linkages and partnerships between governments and civil society, building the capacity for policy analysis and policy dialogue, as well as supporting demand-driven policy research and analysis, FANAPAN is effectively influencing and affecting verifiable change in Africa. With this, the FANAPAN vision of a food-secure Africa without hunger and poverty can be achieved.